Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the 1972 dime from the United States of America or the 10 cent US coin. You can see that it's Franklin Roosevelt facing to the left. It says Liberty here. It says In God We Trust here. It says 1972 here with a D above it. And then way down underneath there's a J and an S. And that is for John Sinek, S-I-N-N-O-C-K, who was the designer or engraver of this coin. Now, this particular coin has something of interest to me on it, and that is that it has the letters going off the edge. And if we look at this in God We Trust, we see that it actually doesn't really have all of the W on there. It kind of does. But you can see it almost goes right off the edge here. These coins, um, they made 330 million of these at the Denver Mint. You see offsets all the time. This is an offset that has very little to no value. But I, I wanted to take a look at it to, just to show you that we have these offsets sometimes. So what I did on this one was, I said, man, that's a weird offset. What's it supposed to look like? So I got out in 1973, and darn if that isn't a little messy on the uh, edge too. So I think you'll find with some of these older coins, um, especially in the 70s and mid 70s, early and mid 70s, they're they're not quite as they let a lot more of these kind of messy offset ones out. This one touches, but this also has a, a rim here, and you see this one doesn't have the rim. So this is quite offset. It's I don't know what it is. It's not a millimeter, but it's 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 offset. So then I said, well, if the 73 isn't any good, let's pull out another one. Let's look at the 75. And look at the 75. It got crunched up in there. And this one is going off the edge, too. So this one, but of course it has a bigger rim than this one does, too. So this one touches the rim in 1975. So this is slightly offset. So then I said, well, let's just pull something out so I can see what it should look like. And I pulled out the 1969. So here's a 1969, and you can see how it kind of touches the edge here just a little bit. Um, but there, sh there could even be a little bit more space than this. And like the modern coins, you won't see it almost hardly ever, I'd say. We see it touching the edge and be this offset. But this is a, what it should look like. It should have space here. It should have a little more space here and space here for the eye. And this is what it this one does look like. And so we know it is offset. We know they missed a little bit of the raised part of the rim when they did it and made this rim a little bit higher. And you can actually see that it kind of sticks in a little bit here. You can actually see some of the copper sticking out above, um, which it shouldn't do. And so the copper actually is a little bit raised over this. But again, 330 million made at the Philadelphia Mint. I mean... At the Denver Mint, 430 million made at the Philadelphia, and they made they they made a lot of mi what we'd call minor errors, and these coins have virtually no value over their 10 cent value. It's a nice coin. It at this point is 47 years old. Uh, it has uh, good um, kind of characteristics in the sense that it's trying to jump off the edge of the coin. The words are but it's still worth 10 cents. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Take a look at all your coins if you have some time. Put them under magnification and, and see what you get. But if you have to magnify them, chances are the error isn't worth much. Feel free to leave any comments in the comments section, and we'd love to have you subscribe to our DC Coin World channel.